The next series in the Narcissism Encyclopedia videos is about inabilities. Hi, I'm Dan Cassenti. I'm a novelist and also a cognitive psychologist. I'm putting together these videos to try to describe different concepts of narcissism so that viewers can arm themselves against abusive relationships. Uh, last time I finished up on techniques of narcissism. So all the things that narcissists try to do to uh, gain leverage over you, create a trauma bond, and become masters over you uh, in, in relationships so that you do what they want and they can use you in any ways they, they feel fit to do. Um, what we're going to turn to now is inabilities. Now, by what by that, I mean that narcissists, you know, they go about their lives uh, always taking advantage of others and and gaining advantages and and all of this stuff that they do to um, further their own cause and get their stuff done. Um, and it's disturbing, right? You might be able to sit back and go, oh, God, I can't believe these people get away with all of this stuff. They're so nasty, so terrible. True, they do get a lot of away with a lot of stuff, but they also have a lot of problems. And I want to focus on this, these uh, videos that's going to go on for 12, this introductory one, and then I'll talk about 11 inabilities that narcissists have. You should never be jealous of a narcissist. Just because they can get away with stuff when they cross moral boundaries and hurt other people doesn't mean that that's something that we should respect or, or want any part of. There are certain things that narcissists can't do, and that makes their lives, you know, become meaningless and, and shallow, and um, sure, they might be able to accomplish a lot of things by using others to do their bidding, but in the end, they end up bitter, alone, creating a destruction as they go. So many, um, uh, you know, littered paths with tons of relationships that have failed. Um, it's hard. It's hard to be a narcissist. And so in this series of videos, I want to give you a sense of just just how terrible they have it. It's, it's not a good thing. Now, we, I want to caution you in going too far in feeling bad for the narcissist. I mean, the truth is, they do so many bad things to people that we can only pity them so much. Um, if we start pitying them too much, we might feel like we want to help them, want to try to break those patterns that they're in, which is a fruitless effort. You cannot stop a narcissist from being a narcissist. It's sad, but true. Um, but we also don't want to allow them to abuse us because we feel so bad for them. So as long as you, you know, keep that as a boundary that you're not going to let them take advantage of you or let your pity go so far as to, you know, give in to their stuff. Um, I think this series of videos will be really elucidating. So um, that's the intro to, to this series and next week I'll post on the first inability. Um, so if you like this video, please hit like, um, you know, subscribe. Any of that will help get these videos out to more people. Okay, thanks and I'll see you next time.